Hey my lovely foodies, welcome to my channel Kanak's Kitchen. Today I'm gonna show you one of my kids' favorite snack which is loaded with lots of vegetables in it that is veg lollipop. These are delicious and crunchy deep fried dumplings prepared with lots of vegetables and potato in it to make a tempting and yummy looking lollipop out of it which is loved by kids specially. This recipe is pretty simple to prepare at home as you have to just mix everything and make pops out of it. So let me show you what you need for this. In a large bowl, take the boiled and grated potatoes along with the grated or crumbled paneer and to this add in the finely chopped onions, capsicum, grated carrot or chopped carrot, some cabbage, spinach leaves, Boiled and crushed peas, boiled corns, some finely chopped beans with some salt, red chilli powder, cumin powder, garam masala, ginger garlic paste or crushed with some fresh coriander and some corn flour with some rice flour to it and some fresh bread crumbs. Now mix everything really well with the help of your hands until it's all combined well. Make sure your vegetables are finely chopped over here and if you want you can use any other vegetables you like and skip any which you don't like. And if you find the mixture to be too sticky you can add some more breadcrumbs to it. So now it has come to good dough like consistency. I am going to refrigerate it just for 5 to 10 minutes. Next I am going to take a small portion of it say around 2 to 3 tablespoon full and then make small small roundels out of it about the size of a lemon. Do this with the help of greased hands and making sure it's nicely round and even on top. This is how it looks. Keep doing this with all the mixture. Now once all the roundels are ready, I am going to dip each roundel into the all-purpose flour mixed water and then immediately I am going to coat this with the breadcrumbs all around evenly to coat all the sides and the top. And if you want, you can double coat them also for a more crispier option. And now let them stand in the room temperature just for 5 minutes. The bread will take all the excess moisture making the wedge lollipops crispy and firm on outside. So now you can see all are ready. And if you want, you can insert an ice cream stick here and then deep fry this. But today I am gonna deep fry these first and then do the presentation. So now heat oil for frying and then fry these in medium hot oil in batches for 2 to 3 minutes or until it turns crispy on top with a good golden brown color. Keep turning and flipping in between to cook them evenly. Once done, I am going to remove them on a kitchen towel. Now all my lollipops are nicely fried. You can see they have got nice color on them. Next for presentation, I am going to take a wooden stick. This is the cake pop stick which I had. And in this, I am going to insert a cherry tomato first. And if you want, you can cut it into half also. And next, I am going to place a small piece of cheese cube in it. This is the regular processed amul cheese I am using. And then, again place a cherry tomato half. And finally, the fried veg lollipop onto it. You can see how lovely it's looking with all the colors in it. 
keep doing this for all of them. This step is perfectly optional, but I am doing this for presentation. Now all are ready, if you want you can simply plate it up or you can put them into small jar or glasses. So don't they look beautiful now? You can just serve them with some dip or ketchup on the side and impress your guest and I'm sure they'll be glad to give you compliments. So hope you like my crispy and golden fried veg lollipops and they look quite presentable on the stick with some cherry tomatoes and cheese in it. And this recipe is not only tasty but at the same time it's quite versatile as you can just put any other healthy stuff or vegetable which your children don't like in the form of this pops. Like you can also use some beetroot, you can use some oats or even soya bean works great with this dish. So do try this for your children today only and let me know what was their reaction below in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed watching the video, do share it with your loved one also. But before that, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel Kanak's Kitchen if you haven't subscribed yet. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.